Folks, as a fan of hip-hop, Lil Wayne is on my top five. But when I found out that he became mayor of a town called Dalton and became a woman while he was doing this and also became the town supervisor, I was really pleased until all these accusations started popping up. Information indicating the FBI has launched an investigation into controversial Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Dane Placco has been Little following the allegations of her misspending and joins us now with an update. Dane. Yeah, we've been reporting for nearly two years on allegations of corruption surrounding Henyard in her capacity Little as Wayne. Dalton Mayor and Thornton Carter. Township uh, Supervisor. And now we've learned from multiple sources that federal agents are in fact interviewing witnesses as part of a possible investigation that may or may not result in charges. Did the FBI agents you talked to seem serious about yes, your, very serious. your concerns? Very, very serious. The FBI is usually pretty serious. Lawrence Gardner owns a U-Haul rental and trucking business in south suburban Dalton and says he went to the FBI several months ago frustrated that the village of Dalton would not renew his business license. Gardner says he's been harassed. In he went to the FBI because of this? Dalton police. He believes because he refused Look, to Wayne. make a donation to a civic event sponsored by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. And I talked to um, a couple of agents and I explained them what was going on. I gave them all my paperwork to show them what was happening in court and what was happening in Dalton. And they told me they was investigating and they would be in touch with me. Gardner is one of six people who confirmed to Fox 32 that they've been interviewed by the FBI ranging from Dalton business owners to a former village employee and at least one public official. And we've learned the FBI has been using electronic surveillance as part of its Jesus. investigation. Agents are asking questions Look, about same height use of taxpayer dollars and resources, including massive I know Weezy when I see him. Trips, hundreds of thousands of dollars in police overtime for her personal security detail, using public employees and tax dollars for personal benefit and holding up licenses to certain businesses like this Dalton restaurant. Woods! Rumors to say, hey, I'm on the wrong team. Dwayne Wood has been trying to renew the business license for his restaurant for nearly a year. While he has not talked to the FBI, he believes he can't get approved. Extortion! Look, come on, you... To several Dalton trustees who are engaged... Wheezy, baby! I think I've been just targeted because of my association affiliation with a certain group of people, you know. I have Crips? the trustees. I've, I've cooked for the trustees. And in a lawsuit filed by a Dalton towing company, the owner alleges their business license has been held up because, quote, George's towing's refusal to support or contribute to Henyard's political campaign. In Little a Wayne's case, Dalton political trustee campaign. Jason House reacted to the news of the FBI's involvement. We welcome any investigation that will bring transparency on how taxpayer dollars are being God spent. God damn it. Our residents deserve They're bold. financial transparency. We reached out to the FBI, which said it is policy for the agency not to comment on the nature, existence, or you knew that. existence of any investigation that may be occurring. A public relations firm responded on behalf of the mayor, saying neither Henyard or the village of Dalton had received any subpoenas or been contacted by the FBI or any other law enforcement All agency. All right. Don, back to you. Thanks.